Smoking and rolling, patrolling, my mind will be open for none of that When I ride to the ocean, my feet in slow motion Somebody come help me, I'm tripping Just give me one moment, I'm full of emotion My cup full of poison, I'm sipping School bathrooms, quite possibly the pinnacle of human evolution. You see, school bathrooms hold a special place in my heart. That sounds weird. But anyways, today I plan to share with you a couple of stories that went down back when I was in high school in the old BR, alright? We're gonna start this one off with, with something light, something simple, alright? A, li a little gambling story. So basically, to set the scene, I'm sitting in science class, right? No one likes science class. Science class is boring. In fact, every class is boring, if you ask me. So, you know, I do the classic, raise my hand, I, 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 gotta, go, I gotta go pee pee, and I make my way to the bathroom. I prepare myself for what I'm about to see, because I know I'm gonna see some shit, alright? It's never just one walk in the bathroom, use the bathroom, and leave. I take roughly three to four steps into the bathroom, and I step on this little, this little hard thing. I'm like, what is that? And I look down, and it's a dice. And I'm like, what, what are we doing with the dice, fellas? And then I look up, and these absolute goobers are shooting dice in the bathroom. And this is, this isn't no silly dice game, all right? They got the ones on the ground. They're really playing this. The only thing that was missing was a couple four locos, if I'ma be honest. But anyway, I guess I disrupted the game, cause they were playing sevens, I picked my foot up, it was a two, and then the dice next to my foot was a five. Oh, I got seven, I got seven, I got seven. Nah, it doesn't count cause he stepped on it. It doesn't matter if he stepped on it, it's a two, bro. Like, that, it's seven. You gotta re-roll that. I'm not about to re-roll that, bro, it's literally seven. Dog, I'm just trying to piss, like, can I, can I go around y'all or something? <laughs> You see, if you've ever used a high school bathroom in your life at least once, you know what I'm about to say. The damn Nick Fiends, bro. I mean, you'd walk into the bathroom, first of all, like, you could smell from the hallway that it smells like peach, mango, watermelon, fruity ice. You'd walk in the bathroom and it'd go something like this. Bro, can I rip that? Can I rip that? Can I hit that? Can I hit that? Yeah, bro, I got you, I got you. I'm about to blow O's, bro. Watch this shit, watch this. Oh, what's uh, up, Split? What's uh, good, my guy? Uh, I'm just trying to piss, bro. Like, I I'm straight with all this. You got Nick? Yeah, bro, I do have Nick. And I'm gonna go in the stall, and I'm gonna rip my own Nick, because every time I give you my fucking disposable... Can I hit it? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you see, this is absolutely the worst thing that goes on in school bathrooms, alright? You know, like, the gambling, I don't care about at all. Actually, I might participate sometimes. The Nick fiending, whatever, I can deal with it. But when kids start throwing stuff and breaking things, dude, th that's when I just, I, I just walk out. You see, there's three main vandalisms that go down in a school bathroom, alright? Usually, it starts off with something simple, you know, the wet paper towel or the wet toilet paper bomb. Basically, kids take a bunch of toilet paper and paper towels, put it under the sink, get it all wet and dense, right? It's like paper mache at this point, and just hum it at kids, bro. And, I mean, like, ha have you ever been hit by one of these? Like, this Hurts. Ah, fuck. What was that for? Run your pockets, pussy boy, or I'm gonna throw another one at you. Bro, I'm just trying to go to the bathroom. I'm not trying to be an O block. Second vandalism. This one's a banger. All right, it's ripping the stall doors off. Why? Why? What does this accomplish? I mean, there's not really much to say about this. It's just like, wh why? All right, here's the third one. Uh, if you're eating. You might wanna like, like put, put your snack down for a second, bro, because we're going with bodily fluids, all right? There's piss on the walls. There's piss on the mirrors. Dude, there, there's, there's dookie on the ground, bro. Like, who is doing this? <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie. I've been in a couple bathroom fights, all right? Probably one of the most dangerous places to actually fight because there's just so many objects around. Back in freshman year, I actually saw a kid get his head smashed into a urinal, gave him a concussion, bro was out for a week. Like, it gets dangerous, bro. But enough about me, I wanna hear your weirdest high school bathroom experience. <laughs> Whoa, okay, wait, no, I didn't mean- You guys know what I'm talking about, drop them down in the comments. Um, side note, I actually dropped a song yesterday, it's on Apple Music and Spotify, so if you guys could check that out, I'd really appreciate it. I put a lot of work into the music, man, I'm gonna be honest with you, so I'm gonna leave the link in the description, alright? Um, yeah. I don't know, uh, oh yeah, sh uh, thank you members, there's a lot of you, uh, here, here are your guys' names, you little, you little, you little cool guys, um, other than that, love you guys so much, follow my Instagram or your, uh, pet goldfish is gonna drown. I think she love me, cause I got the check on me, won't spend a day in place on me, put a curse and an ace on me, scratch up my name, put the ace on me. You ever get faded in the woods? There's just something so great about doing a, a little <laughs> in the woods, you know. <laughs> I mean, think about it. 
you're surrounded by grass and you got the gas or should i say grass okay it's just one of the best experiences a human can have in my humble opinion i remember i used to get faded in the woods almost every day after high school i mean me and the boys would go out to the fucking logging tent you know we roll up something usually a terribly rolled joint you know and when it's nice outside like i'm talking when it's like 70 80 outside and you're just sitting there you get on a little t-shirt maybe a wife beater you're sitting on the log bro and you're inhaling the zazu wazu bro mint my guy mint there is nothing that can kill a stoner's vibe in the summer in the woods bro like first of all off rips you got good weather, you're chilling, you're wah wah bing chilling. Second of all, you got good boof, you got good gas, okay? That's all a man needs. Even even better, you got a little bev with ya. You got a little you got a little plastic body of wadi, bro, a little bottle of water. You're faded as shit looking at nature, deciphering, bro. I mean the Zaza will have me looking at trees absolutely concentrated. Yo bro, what's up gangy? Do you think how many animals live in that tree, bro? I'ma say seven. Do you think trees are like little apartment complexes <laughs> yeah, dude. for chipmunks and whatnot? That'd like, be fire. look at that tree. Look how big that tree is, bro. Do you think that's like what the O block of nature, dude? Probably. You know what I mean, dog? The best thing about getting faded in nature is that you don't even have to be with anyone else. Like honestly, when you're alone inside, like yeah, I get it. You can feel kind of lonely, but when you're alone in nature, dude, you're kind of just at one with the universe. What's up, little grasshopper man? What's good, split? You wanna hit, bro? I'll take a hit. Oh. Ah, dude. Yeah, dude. I got me faded. I'm gonna hop away now. Oh, all good, bro. Dab me up, cuz. I'm gonna catch uh -huh. you, gang. I'm gonna catch you. No sus shit, bro, but I be feeling like a Disney princess with all this wildlife. Like, you know, in like the cartoons, like when they be like, oh, oh, and like the, <laughs> like, like the animals come around, bro. That's me when I get the gas, bro. All right, stop. Everybody, stop. All right, we're getting too excited. We're about to bring the levels to like a moderate medium and we're gonna go to the vibe zone so come on come with me come with me i gotta show you something all right so this is my brain it's kind of empty oh i gotta sneeze bro <laughs> oh <laughs> jesus okay this is my brain dude that shit hurt this is my brain like i've said multiple times before it's a little empty but in through this door is the vibe zone, bro. This is where I keep all of my vibe memories and recollections. So we're just gonna walk in here real quick. Oh, let me knock. What, bro? I'm trying to listen to the Yeet album. Yo, let me in, big dog. Oh, split? Word, I'ma let you in. Word. So yeah, we're in the vibe zone right now. Um, What are we doing today? Nature? <sighs> I get the sniffles, bro, because I, I be sneezing and whatnot. All right, we walking through the nature door real quick. You know how it is. Bro, hold up. You're about to walk through the nature door with no gas? What are you doing? Well, it's gonna be nah, fine. Nah, bro, take this with you. It's dangerous. For real? Yeah, bro. Word. All right, everybody ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> Twenty minutes later. I wonder if like streams are kind of like roadways for fish, like a like like a like a like a river is like a big ass highway, bro. You think they'd be cutting up in the river? That'd be crazy. You think squirrels like owe each other acorns, and when they like be making like the little noises, like a like those noises, like that's them like arguing, cause like. Squirrel 1 owes bro like 5 acorns, but like Squirrel 2 isn't about to pay that shit because he's got to pay 3 acorns monthly for Squirrel Child Support. Oh, what was dude. that? We Guardian Angel! What are you doing here, Split? This is my mind. Oh man, I haven't seen you since like... Dude, it's been a little grip. Way back! Hell yeah, bro, it's been long. How you been? i just been faded, man. Ever since you threw up in class, dude, I just been thinking, bro. I just been like, damn, 
I hope that didn't happen to him again. Nah, bro, I've been chilling. Oh, dude, that's fucking good to hear, my guy. Oh, congrats on the YouTube channel, bro. Thank Big you, Big 35K, dog. man. Hell yeah. Last time I saw you, you weren't even at 10K. That's what I'm saying. Yo, real quick before I get too faded, though. You got any advice for the guys and gals at home? I'm gonna give them the same advice I gave you way back, bro. As long as you smoke that gas... You're out in the nature, man. It's fucking mint, dog, right? You're absolutely chilling, Tim, bro. There's nothing that can bother you. All that stress and trauma in your life, bro, you don't gotta think about that all the time, big dog. You just gotta get a little... Hey man, I'm not too sure that's the best advice, you know. I feel like people should kind of face their problems if they have the opportunity to so they can kind of overcome the stress, you know what I mean? Whatever floats your boat, man. You know what? To each their I'm about own. to be out of here anyway, big dog. Oh, I got a couple hoes waiting on me at the crib. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it was nice catching up with you, big As doggy, always, bro. Gang. Let me get some dabs. Yep. Okay. Ooh, whoo, clean as ever, bro. Fresh as a bitch. You look fly too, bro. Love you, bro. Love you, Gangton. Yes, sir. Peace. Love that guy, bro. Damn. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit. It's some homework for you guys that Weed Angel must have left. Let me read it real quick. Everybody at home have a little sesh outside or you ain't even got to smoke. You can just be wah-wah bing-chilling outside in nature. Take a couple pics and throw them in the Discord. Really? That's the homework? Hey, bro. <laughs> he said it, not me. It's about that time. You know how it is. The merch is out. Please buy it so I don't go broke. Please buy it all. I don't wanna go broke. Please buy the merch. I love you guys so much. Uh, thank you for showing up. Um, leave a like on the video, alright? I don't ask that at all. I usually don't ask that. Usually I ask it in the premiere, but I don't really ask it in the video. Leave a like, leave a sub. Wah wah bing shiling. Um, Other than that, make sure you turn on the noties because your boy is going live this week. I'm trying to get platinum in Modern Warfare 2, bro. And the new season comes out tomorrow. And now what we about to be on. Uh, love you guys so much. Thank you for showing up. Everybody stay safe. Uh, I hope you have a great day. And if I never see you again, I hope you have a great life. Mwah, mwah, hugs and kisses. XOXO. Love you. Bye bye. You ever go to Target faded? See, I've been to many department stores faded. I've been to Walmart, I've been to CVS, I've been to the Dollar Tree, but Target is something different. Also, if you're wondering why you're getting this beautiful split ASMR of me almost completely whispering but not fully, it's because it's 5 a.m. and I just needed to make a video, I couldn't sleep. So yeah, but anyway, when you walk into Target, the experience is just immaculate. First of all, Target is not disgusting like Walmart is disgusting. You know how Walmart has like that poo poo brown floor no target got that nice semi gloss tile floor you know what i mean and you know when you walk in the target the first thing that i personally go to is the starbucks in target bro because i'm gonna let you in on a little secret so starbucks and target offers free refills if you're still in the store so you know i walk up to the starbucks faded extremely faded to the point where i can't even really read and i'm like yo let me get a strawberry acai refresher with no berries, please. You know, and I get that, I start sipping, and then I'm thinking, 
damn, I'm kind of hungry. I got a little case of the munchy munchies. So I'm like, yo, I would also love to request a cheese danish warmed up. So off rips, I'm already having a better experience at Target because I'm zooted. I got the munchies. So I got myself a little snack and a sipper, bro. I got myself a bev. First aisle I make my way towards is the Lego aisle, of course. You know, I look in there, I'm like, hey, what's going on with the Star Wars sets? I'm looking around, I see Mandalorian set 2B, bro. Maybe I make a purchase, maybe I don't. I'm not gonna cap, bro. I kinda want that Din Djarin minifig. But in the unlikely event that I don't actually purchase the Mandalorian Lego set, you know I gotta go peep the vinyls and listen. Walmart's got a collection of vinyls, but it holds nothing to Target, okay? Every time I go to Target, I find some heat. After that, you know, I might walk on over to the technology and video game section. Usually I don't purchase anything because everything is pretty expensive, but I like to look around because here's the thing. When I go to GameStop, GameStop is cool, but the employees are always fucking harassing me, bro. Like, they're always like, can I help you find anything and i'm like no bro i know what i'm here for in reality i don't i'm just there to observe but also another thing about target is they got them little pianos set up bro and i'm not gonna cap i like playing some piano so i walk over to the pianos and i start busting out lucid dreams Also, the carts at Target are never really messed up like the Walmart ones. Like, you get a Walmart cart and that shit has camber, bro. Like, what the f- And there's nothing worse than being faded and pushing a cart that literally veers to the left. I also got a mini story for y'all. Uh, a couple weeks ago when me and John were moving into the new crib, we went to Target to get a couple things and I'ma just give y'all the lay of the land, okay? We're walking in the Target. I just had some Taco Bell. My stomach is doing literally the cha-cha slide, right? There is a nice employee. She's stocking like diapers and shit. We're walking down the aisle. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I walked past that bitch. I just let shit fly, dude. I ripped ass, bro. Did I feel bad? Maybe a little bit, but was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it. Me and John went in the next aisle and we were almost crying of laughter. And this wasn't just no normal fart, bro. Like, this was like, I'm talking stun grenade, bro. I hit this poor employee with a fucking chemical weapon. But anyway, back to the fucking topic at hand. After I bust out some lucid dreams on the cat piano, I usually make my actual purchase, which is something boring. Like, oh, I need toilet paper or I need paper plates or something related to paper and then i get it i put it in the cart also good thing about target is like there's never really an extremely long line at the self-checkouts like in walmart bro i'd be standing in the line for upwards of 15 minutes every time without fail bro but when i go to target it's smooth it's simple i put my items in the thing maybe i scan half my items maybe i don't scan half my items that's just the price you gotta pay for technology but yeah basically i just wanted to make a video absolutely dunking on walmart and bringing target up a couple rungs you know what i mean because target is the elite department store yeah it might be a little more expensive but the shopping experience well faded bro out of this world also did i mention that target has pizza hut come on bro pizza hut dude i can walk around shopping with a slice of the za while i'm off the za za Ooh, that was kind of a bop you know i gotta do it to you the merch is out, alright? Just buy it so I can stop promoting. <laughs> uh, the link's in the top right. Also in the description. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support on the last video. It really means a lot. Um, we hit 35k. We're about to hit 36k this week, I'm presuming. That's if my calculations are right. Um, other than that, I love you guys so much. Make sure you join the Discord link in the description. We have a lot of fun in there. I'm in there pretty frequently, so if y'all want to talk to your boy, feel free to join. Um, yeah, love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hugs and kisses. It's 5 a.m. Yes, of course I am faded right now. 
um, I guess I'm gonna just exist and edit this video, and then probably, like, go shit my pants or something, I don't know, but... Have you ever been faded at night? And I'm not talking light night. I'm not talking no 9 p.m., no 10 p.m. I'm talking 5 a.m. Look at me right now. I literally just took a picture of myself. Bro, the sun is coming up and I cannot sleep. But I'm gonna explain to y'all why I can't sleep, okay? Couple hours ago, all right? I got zoinky yoinky sploinky, dude, and I went downstairs to get myself a delicious popsicle, okay? What did I do when I got downstairs? I opened the freezer. I grabbed the popsicle. It's in my hand. Suddenly, I get blasted with an absolute wave of nausea. I go in the bathroom, and I puke, bro. I puking ten. Oh no! Right? Now what do I do? I got this popsicle melting on the kitchen table while I'm in the bathroom absolutely lurching. I don't know what to do. So like an average citizen, you know, I flush the toilet, I take a miniature shower, and I step out of the bathroom feeling refreshed like a new gentleman. But wait, my popsicle is fucking completely melted on the table. That sucks, and quite honestly, I don't really know where I'm going with this video, dude, cause I'm still feeling the adverse effects of greening out, I'm not gonna lie to you. But just in the off chance that some of y'all are up in the wee hours of the night watching this right now, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of some things that we can do together right now, because like, I know we can't sleep, and we're just kinda in like that weird limbo state, you know what I mean? Like, you know when like, the sun comes up as it is now, uh -huh, right? And like, the whole world is still asleep, but you're awake, bro. You haven't slept yet. It is such a weird feeling, and then, well, you know what's even better than that? Listen, I'm gonna just talk to y'all like you're in the room with me type beat, okay? You know what's even better than that, bro? When you, like, go out into society, and you still haven't slept, and it's, like, weird, dude, and you're, like, looking around, and you're feeling weird, you're, like, everybody has slept, and no one knows that I'm this fucking maniac dude this absolute buffoon animal going through a psychosis state because i can't sleep bro no hibernation guys i'm off my ass right now bro all right i'm not gonna lie right before recording this video like i did smoke again okay maybe i shouldn't have maybe it's gonna backfire on me but you only live once we're here for a good time not a long time gentlemen also like I was saying, if y'all are awake at wee hours of the night, um, you know how like some people, they like to like, they like, they count sheep? We're gonna count splits, okay? Are you ready guys? This is gonna be so fire, bro. Alright, let's count splits, you ready? Alright, one, two, three, four, oh my god, look at that one, look at that one, look at that one. Five, six, Seven, eight. Oh, that guy's in a funny position. That's silly. Nine and ten. All right, we counted ten splits, bro. That's fire. That's fire. I just like that I'm able to do this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The fact that I can just share my insomnia with y'all, dude. It's so sick, dude. I can't cap, bro. Um. I'm faded. I'm, this is the highest I've been making a video ever, bro. I don't think. Oh my. Future split here. Um, I'm sorry for that. I was very high last night, but I'm gonna leave the rest in because it's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, here you go. Just like you guys, bro. Like, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Look, we're almost at 50. Fucking K, dude, can you, bro, no, nah, like, actually, bro, like, just, like, step back, step back real quick, and, like, look at that, y'all did that, bro, y'all did that, that's crazy, bro, that's crazy, dude, this shit changed my fucking life, bro, I'm so grateful, 
Dude, this is, oh my god, dude, I feel like I'm having, like, a drunk conversation, dude, I'm not even drunk, I'm just fucking smacked, dude, and I have, like, no sleep, dude, I'm just, fuck, man, I just can't sleep, bro, like, it sucks when you can't sleep, we even counted splits together, guys, we counted splits, bro, damn, dude, I've never counted splits, you guys are special, bro, I've never counted splits with anybody except y'all, I just wanna say to everyone that's up now, up, up now, in like the wee hours of the night, bro, like, like, like the late, late night, bro, like, see you will play, don't you wait, all through the late night, that's a Travis Scott song, um, what was I saying, shit, what the fuck was I saying, I, I, I don't remember what I was saying, um, I'm sorry, I just wanna say I love you guys so much, um, Thank you for everything. You guys are the best fan base in the entire fucking world. I'm blessed uh, to be able to be in the position that I am. And I can't wait to keep it going. Um, I think we can hit 100k this year. I mean, I don't shoot for the stars. But like, uh, honestly, bro, I think we can do that shit. Um, I love you guys so much. Oh, f- ho- homework, homework, homework. Um, dude, it's going to be another go outside for me. It's gonna be another go outside for me, you know, like, and, like, um, like, Family Feud, when they're, like, uh, uh, survey says, and then, uh, the guy, like, like, they ask him, like, the question, and then he's, like, it's gonna be another go outside for me, Steve. That's, uh, what I'm trying to reference there, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, go outside. Uh, it's really cool seeing you guys, like, all, all the pictures that you guys put in the Discord. It brings me a lot of joy, uh, to know that, like, I'm actually, like, encouraging people to, like, do good things. So, I like that very much. Um, thank you guys for the support on the recent videos. I probably said this already, dude. I'm rambling. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I don't even know, bro. I'm gonna, like, lay down. It's probably not gonna, like, amount to anything. I'm probably, like, still gonna be awake. Um, dude, I'm literally, bro, look at me. Look at me, dude. What the hell? Alright, guys. Uh, I love you so much. I'm sorry. I don't know what this video was. Um, but I had a good time. We counted splits. And that's all that matters. Stay safe. <laughs> that was fun. I only call you when it's left You're <coughs> the only time that I'll be by your side I only love it when you touch me Not feel me when I'm in the dark That's the real me oh when I'm in the dark oh That's the real me, babe Social interaction is difficult Especially after you just Um How do I say this? Toasted Some bread you know what I mean? And there's really no reason for it to be as difficult as it is. It just seems like everyone doesn't know how to communicate properly, if that makes any sense. Which is a shame, because the only thing that actually separates us from just being, like, hairless monkeys is the fact that we're able to communicate, like, we invented language. But anyway, um, I'm gonna give y'all some examples of weird social interactions I've had. Split social interaction examples, oh yeah. That was supposed to be an electric guitar. Drive through. All right, what do you want? I don't know. Um, you got you got to make your mind up because yeah, give like. Give me a second, please, please work with me here. Uh, quarter pounder. Okay, okay, I got yeah. it. Quarter quarter pounder. Hi, oh welcome to God. McDavid's. Will you be using our mobile application today? Uh, no. All right, what can I get for you? Um, I'm gonna take a, a double cheeseburger with no pickles. Double cheeseburger. And a quarter pounder. Do, do you want? Cheese Did you want cheese on that? I don't know. Well, Make your mind up. Sir. Quarter pounder with no cheese. Quarter pounder with cheese, okay. Actually, that was a quarter pounder with no cheese. Yep, I got it. Uh, you wanted a double cheeseburger with no pickles, no onions, and you wanted a quarter pounder with cheese. Um, that had no Would cheese. you like sauce for the nuggets? Um, we actually didn't order any nuggets. Told you to be 768. Please pull up to the first window. So, <laughs> so I'm sure all of you experienced something similar to that at least once. But after you've caressed the Benjamin so much that you are in the absolute upside down, these interactions become a lot more frequent. Gas station at 3 
AM. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with the chips today. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the chips. Do I go for barbecue? Or salt and vinegar? Huh. I think I'm gonna just get both. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. How how are you doing? I'm doing excellent, man. I was just uh I just wanted to purchase these chips. I got the barbecue ones and the salt and vinegar. Are you gonna get both or are you just gonna get one? I'm I'm sorry. Are you gonna get both? Or are you just gonna get one? Um, you gotta pick. I uh, it's either the salt and vinegar or the barbecue. I think I'm gonna get both. My sister really likes barbecue chips, so that's cool. I'm thinking that's a really good option. It but would be. Hey, to each their own. Am I right? Yeah, I'm just gonna get both, man. All right, man. That'll be three forty-eight. All right, sick. Uh, we actually don't have change for a five. Oh, um. Well, this is all I have on me right now. You know what? Let me go talk to my manager in the back, and I'll, I'll be right back out. Let me see if we have some change. All right, sounds good. Yo. We got change for a five? Dude, I am about to actually walk out there and shoot this guy directly in his face. Yeah, no, it would be hilarious. Like, imagine if I just went out there and just killed him. That would be crazy. You know what I mean? Like, oh, can I get the barbecue chips? No, but you can get the 45. You know what I mean? All right, man, so we actually didn't... Oh, where'd he go? Like, there's just something so sketchy about being at a gas station at 3 a.m. I don't know what it is. Any other establishment at 3 a.m.? Sick. You know, they got, they got the 24-hour Walmart. You go there at 3 a.m., it's a vibe. You're riding around on skateboards. You're shooting Nerf guns. It's fun. You go to a gas station, um, basically... It's a 50-50 shot if you're going to get stabbed or if you're uh, just not going to get stabbed, I guess. Asking for directions. Hey, do you know how to get to the library from here? Do you know how to do that, my guy? Uh, yes. Which library? W what do you mean, which library? There's five libraries actually around. Uh, which one were you looking for? Just any any library, man. Okay, so I would actually recommend a Weenie Hut Literature. If you go straight down the road and you take two rights you will see a large monument of a hot dog, all right? Once you see that hot dog, you're going to turn exactly 300 degrees to your left, and then you're going to look straight. There's going to be an alley, right? You're going to walk down that alley. Once you get past the alley, there's going to be a metal chain link fence. You're going to climb over the chain link fence. You're going to walk into a secondary alley. There's going to be a man. He's actually selling German shepherds. You don't have to accept, but if you want to accept this, I mean, like, Hey, who am I to decide what you're doing with your life? Anyway, you're going to keep walking down that alley. You're going to take an additional right. All right, now you're going to be on a one-way street. You're going to walk up the street. It's at a 45-degree incline, so make sure that you tie your shoes, especially tie. 20 minutes later. You will be right there at the McDonald's. I thought you were giving me directions to a library. Oh, yes, the library. Okay, so you're going to want to take a left. I mean, me personally, whenever I ask for directions, it's either that or it's the complete opposite. It's either like... Hey, man, do you know where the nearest, um, Lego store is? And they'll be like, yeah, go that way. So, um, dude, I am the worst YouTuber of all time. All right, that's it. Love you, bye. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy your cane. I'm T-Pain. Oh, my God, that was real. Out of that, loud, loud, good music is a thing to me. When I'm off the Henny, I'm on demon time. I'm just chilling yesterday. I'm gonna say it's around 3 p.m., 3.30 ish to be precise. And my boy John goes, Yo, I got some people coming over. We finna get drunk. And I'm like, Okay, I guess so. And I'm not usually a heavy drinker like that. In fact, I'm not even really a drinker. I prefer to, you know, little bit of grind. But I decided, hey, he's gonna have friends over. I might as well go downstairs. And get a little drunken tin too. So I did just that. But there's also another thing that I failed to mention. I don't really like beer, okay? Like, honestly, I think it kind of tastes like shit, if I'm being for real. Um, I like Hennessy. Hennessy is, like, the only thing I really like to drink. 
maybe maybe on a rare occasion i'll pop on mike's hard but i don't really like the sugary stuff because it, it makes me it, it turns me into split nausea all right i get it anyway they arrive all right the boys are here and you know i start my night off with with a couple sips of henny i don't really measure it out in the shots like that nothing too crazy i just kind of I drink it like like a water bottle after I've ran. You know, like when you were a kid and you get the plastic water bottle and then you just crush that shit, bro? Yeah, similar to that. So like an hour passes and I'm feeling it, bro. I'm 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 zo zoinky splinky floinky dude right now okay i'm not gonna lie and we're like yo let's go get a pizza so we exit the cribbington and we walk to the pizza place it's about like a, a couple blocks away it's not that far but dude i'm walking bro listen guys my legs were heavy it's like i had sandbags strapped to my shoes dude it was hard to walk i'm not gonna cap i was sloshed but anyway we get into this pizza place and uh oh spaghettios there's a lot of people in here and this isn't just like a domino's or like a pizza hut it's kind of like a restaurant so you have to stand in the line and you wait and then you watch them like make the pizza in front of you kind of thing pretty cool idea um in execution though it, it kind of takes a long time so we're just standing there in the line just destroyed i'm not gonna cap bro i'm fucked up dude i'm spinning inside my brain obviously i'm not spinning in real life but mentally i'm spinning bro i'm rotating and after what felt like a half hour which was probably in reality like eight minutes we get to the counter and i gotta order and i'm like Here can i get a what can i get for you one slice of cheese, please. Yep. And I want, I would like a, a grape soda as well. Would you like that for the fountain drink? Mm-hmm. Like from the tap? Mm-hmm. All right, word. Uh, it's going to be... Yup, yup, yup. Can you stop interrupting me? Mm-hmm. And I'm doing the classic, you know, fumble to open the wallet and find the right card to pay with, right? But anyway, I get that all situated, and then we go sit down, and we're waiting for our order to be called. And the waitress hits us with the number 420. See what I did there? That was kind of we funny. We get all the food. We sit down at the table, and I am destroying this pizza. I'm fucking this shit up. But anyway, I devour my meal, and I drink my little grape soda, and now we gotta walk back. And if I thought the walk there was difficult, the walk back is gonna be like Elden Ring. Did I also mention that I didn't have on my own shoes? I just threw on a random pair of John's shoes, which happened to be loose as fuck, and like half a size larger than my actual regular foot size. So my foot is doing the cha-cha slide inside the Jordans right now now bro and i'm not gonna cap dude it kind of scratched the back of my ankle you know what i mean like when you walk in shoes that are too big and they like fuck with your feet bro my fault i was like actually looking at my ankle that shit's red bro but yeah dude like that actually it was bad it was rough but anyway we get back to the crib all is good we're chilling and then we start playing some 2k off rips bro i'm i'm garbage at 2k i've always been garbage and um yeah, so this did not go smoothly. We were playing blacktop twos, right? Not didn't go good at all. I'm not gonna cap. I was getting carried. I was getting carried, bro. After that, you know, I just kind of proceeded to be drunk. There's not really not nothing nothing really eventful happened. I hopped on Discord. I played some Forza with the boys. Okay, join the Discord if you're not in the Discord yet. I'm in that shit almost every night. We play video games. If you want to play something with your boy, bro, join that. If you're wondering why I sound kind of off today, uh, that's because I'm hungover, bro. Like, that shit was literally last night. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling decent. I'm feeling nice. Um, I got merch. I know I had to do it to him. I'm sorry, bro. I got to plug this every video. But, like, yeah, link in the top right. You know the deal. You know the vibe. Daily upload split. Tomorrow's probably going to be another positive video because I just like spreading positivity. But I had to drop a story for the OG fans. You know what I mean. I know you guys like the content like this. Um, Other than that, bro, I'm going to just, uh, I'm probably, honestly, dude, I'm probably going to go, like, have diarrhea right now, bro. Because, like, you know the morning after you drink, you have to, I'm sorry, bro, I'm getting a little too into it. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for showing up uh, to the channel.
thank you for almost 35k we're so close i know we can hit that shit tonight i know we can hit that shit tonight um other than that uh yeah man hugs and kisses bye bye ma uh i'm gonna go edit this shit and then i'm gonna go uh shit my pants and slump peace Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a very original subject that has never been talked about before on the platform, alright? Gen Z. I looked, I did a little research, alright? I looked it up on the old Google and it says that uh, Generation Z was born between 1997 and 2013. That is nuts. Imagine being born after the Xbox 360 came out. Couldn't be me. But basically, I'm gonna be completely not stereotypical at all and say that Gen Z blows, bro. I don't like Gen Z. I'm gonna try to get my point across to y'all real quick. All right, just a couple generations ago, this is what they were doing. This is what we are doing. Quite, quite a departure, if I do say so myself. But hey, bef before you go in the, in the comments and start typing all this shit like, Split wishes he was a baby boomer. No, okay? I I'm good with that. I don't like them either, all right? Like, rent is fucking, like, almost three grand. And I know these e-girls are not responsible for that. So as a way to determine what the all-around best generation was, I've created a system, okay? We're taking the baby boomers. We're skipping over the millennials, all right? We're taking the baby boomers, and we got Gen Z, all right? And we're gonna rank them on a scale from uh cool stuff to uh extreme impact on the world all right it'll make sense i promise all right starting off with the baby boomers uh some cool stuff uh motorcycles are sick man i'm not gonna lie pretty cool uh same with cars cars are really cool they spit flames really awesome all right but then that also like kind of switches over to the not so cool like bad area because um our planet is like actually on one HP right now. Um, television and stuff like that. That's pretty sick. Um, that also like translates into like the not so cool area because now uh we have this, I guess, natural evolution. Uh they also kinda like built America, I guess, in a way. Um, which is sick. America America's nice, alright, I guess. Um, but also like all those trees are now Long John Silvers. Hey, I'm not acting like they completely ruined everything because they didn't. Uh, they they won wars, two, two or three, an, an amount of wars they won, which translates that we we are able to do TikToks freely, man. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's sick. All right, but let's go back to Gen Z. All right, what have we done? We have um, we have. Uh, we got OnlyFans, which is a really good career opportunity for multiple people. Um, we got, um, we can, we can hit the Renegade. And we have Tesla. I mean, baby boomers were in the mud, pumping lead at the ops. You know what I mean? And then we're out here getting mad because... The Doritos logo is changing. I don't understand. I mean, like, who can really blame us, though? Like, those guys kind of set us up for failure, all right? They bought all the houses, all right? The, pri the economy is not doing too good, if I'm being completely honest. It's not doing too well. Um, They, br they introduced us to drugs. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's just what we needed! And then they drive around in their Corvettes and, and be racist. Well, our planet needs to get revived because it has ray gun. Like, I, I mean, that uh, this is a generalization. I'm not saying that everyone is like this because obviously there's great people from both generations. But, um, yeah. So, Split, what can we do to be a better generation? First of all, I don't want to get political, but, like, we need to get his ass out of here. And that really goes for, like, 
anyone in politics. I don't think anyone in politics should be over the age of 50 because they're not going to be alive to see the impact of their decisions. You know what I mean? Let me give you a little example. Say you're living in an apartment and you're moving in a week and the trash needs to go out within two weeks. Are you going to waste your time taking out the trash? No, you're not because you're going to be out of there. The next guy can deal with it. But what about the next guy? That's us. Basically, I'm saying is that we got to clean up the mess that was left by them, which is okay, but we just gotta suck it up and do it. Once we get through it, then we can deal with what has to come next, and I really hope we don't make the same mistake again, because we're going down a rough path. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It's looking grim, but hey, this is getting too dark, y'all. Everyone, sit back right now. I know y'all got the boof on you. Take a ripping tin real quick and listen to these smooth tunes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Take a rip, take a rip. Take a blinker, actually don't take a blinker cause you'll get metal in your lungs. <coughs> you don't want metal in your lungs. No, 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 cause you'll end up on a ventilator before the age of 50. Yeah. Actually, like, who cares? We'll just rely on the next generation to uh, make a cure for that. All right, uh, that's it. Love you, bye. Oh, also, before I go, um, here's my song, Punching Bag. It is out on all platforms. I'm just going to play this uh, for the duration of the rest of the video in hopes that I'm able to place mid-roll ads on the video so I can pay rent next month. All right, love you guys so much. Bye-bye. Make sure you join the Discord also. Link will be in the description. Um, kisses, hugs, um, mwah, mwah. love ya. Punching bag, baby, take the damage off of you Don't go running back to him, I promise I'll be there for you, my girl Have you ever waken baked? And I'm not talking about baking some pastries. I'm talking about opening your little eye receptacles, right? And immediately taking a smack of Rooney off the grass. This is known as the ancient art of waking and baking. Oh. You see, 
when you absolutely obliterate the grass early in the morning, dude, it's a completely different kind of experience. First of all, your brain isn't even fully conscious, so you're already starting your day in an inebriated state. I'm talking milk in the cabinet, cereal in the fridge type B. Breakfast has never hit this hard. You could eat an uncooked slice of bread and a glass of orange juice and it would feel like a king's feast, bro. Then you gotta go run some errands, alright? Those errands went from absolutely boring nothingness to the most exciting side quest of all time. But once that boof runs out, right, once it wears off, dude, cause it will. Trust me, it will. You're gonna be feeling like dry bones, dude. That's honestly why I don't wake and bake as much as I used to, bro, because like, once it wears off, you're done, dude. You're, you're just fucked. You're gonna feel like shit for the rest of the day. Because quite honestly, I don't think the human body was meant to get absolutely obliterated as soon as you wake up. You see, like, the more that you wake and bake, the more your body kind of requires it. You know, you get used to waking up and getting absolutely minecrafted. And when you run out of the grass blocks, dude, like, you're just kind of... You're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be Lego, you're gonna be Lego man, Lego man, Lego minifigure man. But Split, how do you know all this? Well, I'll tell you, if you haven't seen my Faded at Work video, I basically go into detail on how I would get absolutely obliviated every day before my shift. Alright, my shift went from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Set, sp sp I'm so high. Six days a week, alright? And the only way I was able to function throughout the day after the morning schmackaroonie weared off is to just, <laughs> just a little bit more, just a little bit more, just get a little bit more. You see, waking and baking is a delicate art, and I'm here today to tell you how you can do this perfectly. Alright, first off, this one's gonna take a little bit of trial and error, but you gotta see how much grass you can cut i don't want to get demonetized i'm sorry i need money before you get absolutely roasted toasted barbecued grilled microwaved once you found out the perfect grass to human body waking up ratio then you can start embarking on the journey of learning the way of the wake and bake because quite honestly there's nothing worse than getting too faded as soon as you wake up and then having to deal with that for the next two or three hours the best rule of thumb for this is to use as little grass as possible to get to your optimal faded level okay i made a little diagram for y'all so you can keep track of this okay we got not faded at all then we got moderately smackaroony and then all the way at the other end of the spectrum we got completely zoinky yoinky sploinky if you truly wish to embark on a journey of the art of wake and bake you want to keep this meter somewhere in the middle bro because if you go too far in each direction you're not gonna have a good time hold up I need to show you guys something really important look at this masterful art piece that we created in the discord last night isn't this insane? Look, we got my boy Bruce Wayne, all right? We got Yeet. We got our president, all right? Underneath the Lego fan, of course, all right? You look over there, what's that? Oh my god, it's the Destroy Lonely Wolf. And then in the middle, that's me, dude, with the fucking drip on, dude. Look at me, look at the Tims on the boy. Oh my goodness. I got some homework for y'all, as per usual. Drop your homework submissions in the Split Homework channel on the Discord. I want to see y'all go outside. It's almost summer by now, dude. It's hot as shit, all right? I'm not gonna lie. I'm overheating. I'm sweating. I'm perspirating. But I'm making this video because I know y'all love watching the- Go outside, take a picture of something sick. Maybe even have a little Sessington, a little- <laughs> Up to you up to you completely but i want to see some cool shit all right so send me something cool in the split homework description in this what in the i'm faded bro also here's my instagram bro i need to get my instagram cloud up all right i'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all i need to get my instagram cloud up so please drop me a follow on instagram if you got it if you don't that's okay too it's all right i don't judge i love you guys so much take care New video coming soon. Faded Chronicles Episode 2 is going to be an absolute banger, bro. I love you guys so much. Thank you. We're almost at 50k. Very cool. All right. Bye-bye. I'm rambling. I'm faded. It's fine. Also, a lot of y'all been asking me to do a classic outro, so I'm going to hit you with an extended one real quick because uh, I got to give the people what they want. Ah.
Carts in 2023 are kinda weird. It seems like everywhere you go now you can see somebody taking a stinky blinky off the Penji Wenji. And I think I know why they're so popular. You see, back before carts, all we had was the grass, okay? And grass is cool and all. Everybody loves the grass, but grass smells, especially after you just trim the lawn. And I'm gonna be honest, okay? The shopping cart smells too, I'm not gonna lie, but it's way less detectable. It's like, you know, like the ghost perk in COD? It's like if grass equipped the ghost perk, it would be a cart. Also, carts are small, bro, and Benjamins can be even smaller, bro. They got tiny pen. Look at this pen. Look how small this pen is, bro. This means that people can get obscenely faded without anybody even noticing. Because honestly, bro, if I take one Smackington off the Benjamin, that's about equal to three slumpy, dumpy, flumpy hits off the grass. I told you guys, you gotta stop burping, bro. It's disgusting. Carts are cool. Carts are great. We love carts. But I'm here to educate you about the dangers of carts. Cause it can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. First stop, we're talking about fake carts, okay? Likelihood is that you are right now chiefing on a little, little, little fake item, all right? You're chiefing on a little soldier, soldier cart, soldier boy cart. We're gonna figure out how we can spot that, all right? Because I'm here to help y'all. So, everybody right now, if you got a cart, Jim, and I want you to take out the little cart box, and I want you to look for a little QR code. It should look like one of these. You're gonna go to your camera, and you're gonna scan that QR code. And if it comes up as real, then you're chilling. You're bing chilling but but hear me out hear me out they could have replaced the cart in the box so be wary we got a few more steps to take all right second step all right you got your cart okay you just bought it you're hyped you didn't go to a dispensary because you live in america and inflation is you look at that cart and you're like damn it's looking like a little bit low like it's not filled to the top it looks like bro might have took a couple chooching tins off it this doesn't necessarily mean that the cart is fake it could mean that whoever you bought it off uh, uh got, got a little hungry had to had to take a, had to take a little bite which brings us on to the next check we're gonna make okay you already got that cart it's a little low that's kind of a red flag i want you to take your carting tin okay and i want you to flip it upside down now how fast do the bubbles move in it bro because if it's like water or if it's like if it's like like salt nick like no bro that's that don't hit that bro cart distillate should be like slow moving bro it should be like honey third thing i want you to check is i want you to look wait did i already do three i don't know fourth whatever number we're on i want you to move that little top of the cart i want you to move it like back and forth bro if it's loose don't hit the cart, bro. That means it's been open. Someone's been in that shit. It should be tight. The best way to avoid fake carts is to go to the dispensary or hear me out because I know, I know, I know y'all aren't going to the dispensary, bro. Okay, I know y'all buying them street carts. Make sure you buy it from someone that you know and you trust. Don't buy it from some random guy, bro. You're gonna get, you're gonna get the Fenty cart. You're gonna get the Rihanna Fenty cart. Don't. Why are carts so strong? Every time I hit the cart, I don't know how to read. Carts contain distillate, alright? And distillate is made in the laboratory, bro. Dexter's lab, to be pre sp sp specific. Oh my god. This means that carts are, by design, created to get you absolutely smacked. Which is why most people prefer carts. Me, personally, I'm more of a grass kind of guy, okay? You know, I can, I can light up some of the grass and I'll be chilling. But as soon as I hit a cart... 360 no scoped bro i'm out the thing about carts is the feeling you get from them is more like i don't know how to say it, synthetic almost and that's not a bad thing i mean people like what they like some people prefer carts some people prefer the grass yeah i'm faded i got some homework for y'all okay spring is upon us it is a lovely season 
I want you guys to go outside and I want you to take a picture of a nice view or just somewhere nice where you can chill and relax. Maybe do a little... <sighs> but that depends on how you're feeling. I want you to post your homework submissions in the split homework channel in the Discord as per usual, okay? Link in the description. <laughs> Um, other than that, uh, I just uploaded a new vlog on the second channel. Here's here's that. All right, you should go subscribe to that, bro. That would be sick. Um, thank you guys so much for 41k. We 50k next, bro. I know we can do it. I love you guys so much. Take care. Stay safe. Don't hit no fake carts, bro. You're gonna wake up and your left eye is gonna be here and your right eye is gonna be up there. Don't ever smoke no weed from the goddamn gas station. You know that feeling you get when you're alone? It's kind of hard to describe. It's like, I know that there's no one around me, but like, I don't feel alone. Maybe that's why I like Rush. so much. I mean, there's just something about the boof pack that allows me to like, really just tap into my own thoughts. You know what I mean? I remember back in high school when I'd have a pretty bad day, I would go down to the field next to my house and I would just, I'd be choochin', bruh. I'd be, I'd be, <laughs> You know what I mean? And I'd just lay down in the field, and I'd look up at the stars, and I, I would just imagine, like, a wave coming and just pulling me out. And I think that's why I had this weird obsession with space as a kid, because just to think that there's, like, millions upon millions of light years are just nothing. It's just nothing. It kind of makes me feel calm in a weird way. I know some people are, like, absolutely terrified of space, but not me. I wouldn't mind floating on through the uh the old the old atmosphere if you know what i mean and honestly my favorite parts of life are just like you know okay let me give you an example all right this is kind of hard to explain so uh imagine it's like nighttime right baba buoy um and you go out onto your deck if you got a deck okay i know some people don't got a deck or a porch or you even go outside you go outside you stand somewhere with a nice view, okay? Everyone's got a nice view. Like, even if you're in the desert, it's a nice view, okay? And you just, you're just sitting there. It's nighttime, and you're looking at the stars. It's one of the most peaceful things I could think of. And I guess the point of this video is for me to kind of just tap in to the more, like, relaxing, calm, like, moments. Because I've been really stressed, okay? I'm, I'm a little stressed goober. I'm going through a lot of changes in my life right now. And, you know, sometimes... I just want to look up at the stars and just not think about that. And listen, I know last week I made a video completely dunking on our generation, but honestly, we don't get enough credit, alright? We have been thrown into one of the weirdest times that this world has ever seen. And we, we are just a generation of stress and mental trauma. And hey, I might not be the most influential person, okay? I know that. But I got some homework for you guys to do. If you could just do this for me, it would mean a lot. Just slow down. You're doing okay. Go out tonight and go look at the stars. Alright? I know it sounds corny. I know it sounds dumb. But like, seriously. Go look at the stars. Sit there. Maybe, maybe spark up a little. Ha ha ha. If you know what I mean. Because honestly, I feel like, like, people aren't telling us that enough. You know what I mean? Like, when's the last time you heard someone say... Go home, go go look at the stars for an hour. No one's ever said that to you. Stop lying. Like, not to be like the cliche, we live in a society kind of thing, but like, everything in our daily lives is just go, 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 go. How about we just, just hold up? Like, pause? Like, just wait? All right, um, spiritual split. Love you guys so much. Also, um, new channel rebrand kind of thing. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm really excited. It's kind of, it's like peaceful. You know what I mean? It's peaceful. Yeah. I don't really know. Um, okay. Bye-bye. Love you guys so much. Merch is out also. I know I have to plug it at the end of the video. I'm so fucking sorry. Um, alright, bye. Hugs and kisses. Mwah, mwah. Go look at the fucking stars tonight, okay?
I hit the Mario Kart and I want to tell y'all about my experience. So this story takes place way back when I was in high school. I was chilling with my boy, we're gonna call him Cole, okay? Actually, dude wasn't really my boy, if I'm gonna keep it a stack. It was just kinda like, you know, that one classmate that you can kinda tolerate, so you talk to. Me and Cole had two classes together. We had science in the morning, and then we had gym, like, later on in the afternoon. And something you need to know about Cole and I is that we would get to class earlier before everyone else got to class, because we would go in the locker room, pause, bro, like, pause, and we would rip carts. <laughs> Dude, we would rip carts and we would rip our shitty like soaring drops in the back of the locker room Because honestly, who wants to go to gym class sober? Uh, not me But on this particular day, I didn't have my cart or my nicotine with me So I was, I was cruising on sober But anyway, I meet up with Cole in the hallway before gym class And he's like, bro, I got something special today I'm like, what do you got? He's like, I got this crazy cart, bro It's nuts, it's right from the dispensary And I'm like Oh ho ho, you already know I'm about to get faded at a hole. But anyway, we make our way over to gym class and we're chilling in the locker room and he pulls this shit out. Bro, we didn't know anything about carts back then. This was in like the early days of carts when like they weren't even really that popular. So I saw this and I was like, bro, this is about to be gas. I mean, this thing had like the white tip on it, bro. The the actual dabs inside were like basically brown and the package that the cart came in had like this holographic like tint to it almost like a CSGO knife bro like that's what this cart looked like and we were like this is about to be crazy and he's like yo you want the first rip and I'm like hell yeah I want the first rip <laughs> shit tasted like dirt bro like it was gross i'm not gonna lie top five worst cards i've ever hit in my entire life it was terrible but i really didn't want to like tell him that it was bad because like i kind of wanted to like stay on his good side because maybe just maybe he would get like a good cart next week and i could get some rips off that you know anyway he rips the cart and he takes it like a champ dude like didn't even cough and i'm like you are a different specimen you are gonna die before the age of 30 like that is crazy that i i am convinced that this cart was laced the, i'm being honest bro i am convinced this cart was laced because as soon as we actually started gym class and like stepping out into the gym dude all i heard was like like you know what i mean you know when you hear that dude that's when you know that's when you know you are Fucked up, dude. And we were playing volleyball in gym class that day, dude. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was feeling like a pro volleyballer, dude. But anyway, gym class ends and I am just through the roof, bro. I am destroyed. And my little fiend brain started tingling. My fiend senses started tingling. I'm like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and see if anyone's got some nicotine. Because I forgot mine at the crib. Anyway, I pull up right hop out at the after party i secured some classic jewel rips but honestly it made everything worse because i just got nauseous and before you know it there i am in the bathroom just lurching bro straight pukington everywhere so i snuck out the back door bro i did i just went home i knew my mom wasn't gonna be home until later so i was in the clear i got in my bed and i went to sleep and i'm not gonna lie guys i woke up at like 8 p.m dude and i was still fucked up moral of the story um never hit the mario kart ever if anyone ever offers you a mario kart or a Fortnite cart or anything like that. Never hit that, bro. You will have a terrible time. Also, you know I gotta do it to him. You know how it is. Merch is out, okay? Link in the top right. Link in the description. Cop some merch. Yeah, boy, is broke. Um, other than that, I love you guys so much. Hugs and kisses. Mwah, mwah. Um, yeah. A wah, wah, bing, chi. Ah, yes.
The Zaza Rotation, an ancient art dating back to near prehistoric times. I'm willing to bet that we discovered the Zaza Rotation before God. Everyone always likes to talk about their dream Zaza rotation, okay? But me personally, I'm a little different, bro. I wanna stick out from the crowd, cuh. So I'ma give y'all Split's absolute nightmare Zaza rotation. And just to keep it realistic, all of the people in this rotation are gonna be completely non-fiction. They're gonna be real people, so I can't be saying no dumb shit, okay? Number one, we're gonna start off with Squidward Tentacles. I'ma be honest with you guys. Guys, I don't fuck with Squidward, okay? Squidward is always on some negative shit, bro, and I don't need that energy, especially in the boof circle, okay? No negativity in the boof circle, bro. Okay, number two, we're gonna have to go with DJ Khaled. I feel like DJ Khaled's the kind of guy to hit the blunt once and then start doing some shit like this. Which some people may argue is an absolute vibe, but me personally, bro, I, I don't want to see that, dude. I, I don't want to see that. Number three, I'm going to have to go with Benson's bitch ass, bro. Fuck Benson. Benson has been on Mordecai and Rigby's dick since the first day they even got hired at that job, bro. And quite honestly, bro, I don't want to deal with Benson, dude. Look at him, bro. He's a fucking gumball machine. Number four, The Grudge. Bro, like fuck no i don't even want to deal with this bitch outside of the fucking blunt rotation dude also uh shorty's disgusting okay I i'm gonna keep it a buck bro i don't want that anywhere near the blunt and number five i'm gonna have to go with joe biden i feel like it would just be kind of like smoking a blunt with your grandpa which like might be fire dude but the whole time he's gonna be talking about vietnam and like I i'm not trying to hear so yeah uh there that's the my nightmare blunt Oh my god, I'm faded. My nightmare blunt rotation. I'm gonna give y'all a little scenario in case this nightmare came to fruition. I really hope it doesn't. But uh, yeah, this is probably what it would be like. Squidward, take that shit. Take this. Oh, dude, your fucking tentacles are disgusting. Maybe if you pass the Zaza like a human being instead of using your dumb ass little stick figure arms, I would be able to grab at you before. On God, Squid is right. You're just a little bitch boy with your stupid ass red eyes. Pass the blunt already. I am fiending for a smack of that sweet Zaza pack straight from New Zealand gang. Damn Squidward, you're really hitting that shit. Save some for the rest of us, but... What the fuck is Khaled doing, bro? I told him to stop doing that shit. He's kind of hitting that shit, though. Hop off his dick, split. You know what? I I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much how I would think that would go. Yeah, but I want to hear from y'all. I got some new split homework, alright? In addition to the classical go outside, bro, today, I'm going to be asking y'all to comment below what's your nightmare blunt rotation, bro. Tell me, I want to hear what kind of crazy, wacky stuff you guys come up with. Um, Other than that, I dropped the album. Here's the album. Yup, pretty sick. Um... Also, if this video hits 2,000 likes, I'll do a dream blunt rotation so you guys can get, like, the good ending, okay? Uh, love you guys so much. Stay safe. Take care. We're almost at 50k. I'm bussing. I'm bussing. I'm sorry for that. I'm so fucking sorry. Goodbye. Yo, bro, where'd you get these gummies, bro? They're bussin'. What gummies? These green ones. Yo, those are edibles. What? Those are edibles. Whoa! Why are we going so fast? New checks on me, they clear. Got a naked on the test. Got my diamonds on and pairs. Got my diamonds on and pairs. So, today's story takes place 
actually last night. Me and my boy John, who I live with now in the absolute W Cribbington, we were just chilling playing some Last of Us 2, all right? And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, hey, I'm getting a little hungry. I'm, ge I'm, getting, I'm getting a little hungry. So I decided to stand my little tushy up and go get some snacks, okay? I walk over to the kitchen and I see this unmarked bag with some gummy gummies in there. And I'm thinking... I could go for some gummy gummies right now. So I plopped two of those absolute horribles in my mouthington. And I'm thinking, I'm like, hey, yo, these are gross. Yo, John, where do you get these? Oh, I got them from the dispensary. C come again? They're edibles. They're 100 milligrams each. Oh, I just ate two. Did you eat? How many did you eat? I ate two. <laughs> Needless to say... I, I was not prepared, but there's nothing I could really do now. I mean, I already ate them. I might as well just ride it out. So I go in Sittington on the couch, and I wait in absolute horror for these to kick in. And honestly, bro, everyone write W John in the comments right now because he's the GOAT. He actually took the same amount as me, so we would experience it together. That's true brotherly love. So anyway, John's playing The Last of Us 2. I'm observing. And I start feeling, I start feeling a little woozy, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, bro, I think they're kicking in. Yeah, I'm high. <laughs> yeah, dude. Huh. Alright, <laughs> I gotta go pee, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, man, alright. Are you good, bro? What? I was gone. And if you don't know by now, when you take edibles, they don't they don't go away quickly. All right, they last like eight hours. In reality, I was sitting on the couch, but in my head, dude, I was in Astro World. And as time is going on, I am not getting less high. I am getting more. And this eventually leads me down a very dark path, all right? If you're eating right now, I would suggest putting down your little chippy chips. Maybe you're eating some Pringles. Maybe you're eating some Cheetos or Goldfish. Put them down. <laughs> the fuck is that? You good? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, bro. All right, bro. You're chilling. All right. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty high, too. Damn, I wonder if he's okay. <laughs> you heard that right, folks. I started puking tin. You know, in my brain, I thought it was gonna give me some relief. I thought I was gonna be okay. That was not the case. I actually continued to be very much inebriated for an extended period of time. And by now, it was like 10 p.m. I was not having consciousness right now. I was, I was just, I didn't want to deal with it. So I went upstairs, finished off at the Fortress of Dreams, got in my bed, and I passed the fuck out! Okay, that's it. Love you, bye. So call out my name. <coughs> call out my name when I kiss you so gently. I want you to Karts versus Zaza, perhaps one of the most heated debates in human history. This debate goes as far back as, I don't know, probably like 2013 or 14, whenever like Karts like actually like were created. I've came here to settle this once and for all, okay? I'm gonna lay down some facts on each side of the spectrum, alright? And I'm gonna let y'all make your educated guess on what you believe is better, okay? Alright, let's start off with the good of both of them. Starting off with Zaza, okay? Obviously, we get a point up here just for being the OG method, alright? This is the goaded sauce. I'm not gonna cap, bro. This shit comes up out of the ground, alright? Just like God intended, my guy. And then you pick it off, bro, and you scrunch it out, you put it in the grinder, and you... <laughs> ah! Also, this, uh, beautiful substance can be intaken into the body. Is that a, is that a word? Intaken? Whatever. Uh, uh, through multiple methods, alright? You got the bowling tin. You got the goddamn, um, um, the joint jamin. You got the blunting tin. You got the bonging tin, you got the gravity bonging tin, you got the gas masking tin, you got the, uh, probably some other stuff. Also, this gets another point on the board for just being able to actually, like, break it down with your hands, 
grind it out. Just the whole process of it, dude, is a mwah. All right, let's kick it over to the Cardington side, all right? Good factor. Um, they don't smell, all right? They, they don't. People say they smell. They don't. They don't fucking smell real. Um, they're discreet, all right? They're small. You can fit in your little pocket pocket. Yeah, you can do that with a jointing tin, but then your pocket's gonna be smelling like boof. Uh, they're relatively cheap, and, like, if you're conservative with them, they can last you a pretty long time. And last but not least, they get you absolutely faded. All right, let's go over to the bad, all right? We're getting to the bad, 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 bad area. All right, bad for Zaza. Uh, this shit smells, bro. Everybody's gonna know that you're off the boofing tin, unless you watched my last video, which is like how to get rid of the smell. Uh-huh, a uh, little plug right there. There's a lot of different versions of the Zaza, all right? You can get some mid Zaza, you can get some low bottom tier Baba Poo Poo Zaza, or you can get some immaculate Zaza. But honestly, bro, there's really no way of telling until you actually, like, have the booth in your hands and in your lungs. That's really all the downsides I can think of Zaza. But let's go over, let's, let's go over to the carts, the car, cart city real quick. Let's take a little trip. Let's take a little drive over. First of all, carts, um, you, there's like a 90% chance that you are, are ripping a cart that is cut with some weird chemical. I'm not gonna lie, unless you buy it directly from the disposable. Um, the disposable? The dispensary. Oh my god, I'm faded. Um, arguably, these are, uh, probably a little bit, uh, less healthy than the Zaza because there's a high percent, uh, chance that you're breathing in some metals, alright? Breathing in some metals. Um, not a hundred percent chance, but, uh, pretty high chance. Also, if you drop a cart and it cracks, you're kind of just fucked. Um, if you drop, like, your, like, joint on the ground, you can, like, pick it up, dust it off, five second ground rule type beat. And, uh... I don't know if this contradicts any points I said earlier, I'm not really keeping track, I'm kind of zoinky right now. But, um, carts can be pretty fucking expensive, dude. So let's, uh, tally up the points. Let's see what we got going here. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, Zaza wins. Zaza will always win, in my humble opinion, bro. But, uh, if you don't agree with this statement, feel free to go in the comments and, uh, say, Split! You suck. You're the worst YouTuber of all time, bro. I'll have you know that carts are far superior to Zaza, and here is why. And then you would, like, type, like, uh, like your manifesto on, like, why carts are better than Zaza. Yeah, feel free to do that. Also, I'm obligated to tell you that merch is out, okay? New merch drop. Pretty cool. Um, also, here's the IG for the merch, uh, because, like, I'm trying to make, like, a little branding tin going on here. So if y'all want to be, like, day ones to that, you should go, like, follow the IG and, like, go check out the merch. Um... Other than that, uh, I dropped an album. Here's that. Yeah, split homework for today. Um, go outside. I know I said that last video. I know it's been the common homework, bro. But, like, honestly, dude, like, go outside, bro. That shit will do wonders to you. I love you guys so much. Take care. Mwah, mwah. Stay safe. 50K soon. Ow, wow, wow. It's really you on my mind Your feet both sides of the twelve Steep both sides of the elf Free smoke rings and they hell Sleep snow crying for the well High school where the youth goes to learn and get educated. These facilities are beautifully crafted to train the developing youth's mind. Well, I mean, that's what they want you to think, but actually my high school was more like WWE Friday Night Smackdown. Now listen, there's something that you must know about high school fights. They always involve external objects. Have you honestly ever seen a high school fight where it's just two people evenly matched fighting each other with just their fists? No, no, some kid's gonna get his head cracked open on a urinal, someone's gonna pick up a desk and throw it at Jimmy, Jimmy's gonna get a concussion, he's gonna be out for the season, okay? Potential weapons used in high school fights. Off rip, we gotta get the locker out of the way. The locker can be used in multiple ways. It can be used to smash your opponent's head into, it can be used to open up if you know the combination, alright, let's just get that straight. It can be used to open up and repeatedly close on your opponent's head. I 
actually seen this happen to a kid and his eye popped out of the socket. It was very, very bad. Pencils. Pencils are a great, a great high school fight weapon. I remember one time I was sitting in English, third period, right? And these two kids were beefing. One stood up, broke his pencil in half, walked over to him, right through your hand bro how's it feel lunch trays i actually haven't seen this happen personally but i've heard stories about schools with metal lunch trays being used as baseball bats of sorts um in my school we actually didn't have metal lunch trays we had styrofoam lunch trays so uh i don't think that would have been very effective but let's talk about the raid boss of high school weaponry stairs all right you cannot physically pick up stairs and hit someone with it but you can push someone down and i have personal experience with that i was going to class after the bell rang this kid had beefington with me he grabs me by the back by the back of my backpack and throws me down the stairs and i broke my anklington did i fight back Fuck no i broke my ankle bro i shabbled to my next period a teacher stopped me in the hallway she's like why are you walking like that i'm like i don't know my ankle hurts i took my shoe off my ankle is the size of a softball right or softball's like I don't know, it was it was large. It was a rather large ankle. Locations, Locations for high school fights. We're gonna start off strong with the classic gymnasium fight. Gymnasium fights used to hit different. Literally. Okay class, today we're gonna be playing basketball. So everyone uh everyone sit on the side and uh we're gonna pick the captains. Alright, uh split your captain and zero your captain. Uh split you get first pick. I'm gonna take uh Jeremy. What the fuck? I don't want to be on Split's team. I'll be on Split's team. I don't want Chris. He's fucking garbage. Yeah, that's why I fucked your mom, right? What did you just say to me? <laughs> Please. Take it back. Your mom was taking this dick. <laughs> hallway fight. You see, hallway fights is where the majority of the fights in school took place. Usually how this would go is the bell would ring, everyone would go to their next class, and then you'd turn around and there'd be a, a Looney Tunes scuffle going on behind you. John, I'm making a video. What's up, Split family? Spiritual so in the building. What are you doing in my house? Gazer. Gazer. What does that even mean? You feel me? Honestly, it doesn't matter. You're here now. I'm making a video about high school fights. Ow, bro. So, today, we're talking about fights. But, I'm gonna keep it a buck 60. I'm out here built like Jack Skellington, so I'm not really fighting all the time. I still got a message for you motherfuckers. So, stop fighting over girls, bro. Basically, every fight that happened at my school was over a girl. And this shit always gives me a brain aneurysm trying to figure out the logic here. So your girl, who is supposed to be loyal to you, broke that loyalty and fucked Tyrone, and you want to fight Tyrone? Who's Tyrone? This shit still makes no sense, bro. That doesn't answer my question. You're about to fight a random dude over a girl who stabbed you in the back. On top of that, what if Tyrone sleeps you, bro? Then your girl and a video of you getting knocked out are both getting passed around the whole school. That shit is not the move, King. The only real revenge you can get on Anne Marie and Tyrone is by working on yourself and stunting on him, bro. Make sure you're happy, take care of yourself, and I don't want to catch any of you fighting over a girl, you hear me? You got this shit, bro. I'ma send it back to my boy Split. Dude. What the fuck? We interrupt your regularly, ske reg regularly scheduled split programming. Merch is out. Please buy it cause I'm in crippling debt. We got hoodies. We got beanies. We got t-shirts and stickers. Don't take it from me. Look at Zero. Look how nicely dressed this man is. Look at the drip. What? Oh yeah, if you use code FADEDAF, you can get free shipping on any item on the split store oh my goodness what are you doing bro click on the link it's gonna be at the top right okay you see that little drop down link you might want to click on that that'd be pretty sick man all right back to your regularly scheduled split programming now that i have a bruise on my right cheek i think it's time to talk about the consequences of high school fights you can get suspended now okay listen to me suspension is not really a punishment all right to me it was always a gift i don't have to go to school for a couple of days and it's not going to count as an absence uh, sign me up. But seriously, like Optimus Prime said, Violence is never the answer. Thanks, Optimus. But yeah, like sometimes maybe you have to get into a fight. Maybe it's unavoidable, but avoiding a fight is much better than actually being in a fight. I don't know about y'all, but I'd much rather be looked at as the kid that ran away from the fight than the kid that got CTE from the fight. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna go ice my cheek. Make sure you give Zero a sub. Uh, although he did break into my house, I still think he's a pretty cool guy. Um, yeah. Damn, dude, this is...
actually hurts a lot. 2020, 2020 vision. <laughs> Cupid hit me, Cupid hit me with precision. I wonder if you look both ways when you cross my mind. Sound sick of, sick of, sick of, sick of chasing. You're the one that's always gonna do my daydream. I, I can only see your face when I close my eyes. And then you know like when like the girl comes in she's like Can I get a kiss tonight? Can you make it last forever? Can you <coughs> said I'm about to go to war? <coughs> Damn I don't know if I'ma see you again <coughs> Can I get a kiss? It seems like everybody is taking blinkers in 2023. Just in case you don't know what a blinker is, I'm gonna lay it out for you. You got the Benjamin and you got the Cardington, all right? The Cardington go on to Benjamin, all right? You hit the Benjamin, right? Normally, normally, you go like, that's it, normal Benjamin hit, you're chillin'. But then we got these people taking blinkers, all right? And if you don't know, a blinker is basically when you take a hit so long off the Benjamin that it literally blinks and stops producing smoke so it doesn't overheat and explode in your face. This is so bad for you. This is so unhealthy, and I'm gonna tell you why. But first, I'm gonna clear the air, all right? I'm not telling you what to do with your body, all right? If you wanna take back-to-back -back blinkers every day like an absolute mad lad, go ahead, bro. But don't be crying in 30 years when your lungs look like the wither boss from Minecraft. The anatomy of the car, so you know taking blinkers is bad. Carts are composed of three main parts, okay? You got the mouthpiece, all right? It's usually the little plastic piece in the top where you put your little smackaroos on it when you take a blinking tin, all right? Then you got the chamber, all right? The chamber. The chamber's like the little glass piece that like lets you see inside and it holds all of the distillate or the wax, all right? Last and final piece, all right, we got the atomizer. This is the important one, okay? This is the thing that heats up and it like basically just like heats up and burns the wax so you can inhale it, you know what I mean? And these are usually made up of ceramics or metal, all right? And like, if you ask me quite personally, bro, I don't wanna be breathing in ceramics or metal, bro. Like, and if you're hitting the carding tin like usual, you probably won't be breathing in ceramics or metal. But when you take a couple blinkers, man, the whole game changes. These things are $25, bro. Do you really think that they have industrial grade titanium heat resistant metal in them no dude they are meant to get to a certain temperature that is relatively safe so you can inhale the wax jamin without getting absolutely stun grenaded what you're effectively doing by hitting blinkers is heating up the cart way too much all right you're bleeding those metals from the atomizer and the ceramics into the wax so every time you take a blinker off that cart you are inhaling metal bro that's not good if you ask that's like driving your car until it overheats every single time you drive your car bro like don't do that that's bad alternatives to blinkers so you don't be inhaling that metal or ceramics i got a lot of people telling me that man i only get high when i take a fucking blinker dog that's cap you and me both know that that's cap, all right? You can get the same high from just taking a bunch of, like, smaller hits. And I'm not saying you gotta take a bunch of little baby hits, but, like, you can take, like, a medium-sized hit multiple times to get the same high you would get from a blinker. Plus, hey, dude, you're not getting Optimus Prime in your lungs, which is, which is good. Also, the more blinkers you take, the worse that your wax is gonna taste because it's just bleeding the metals into that. So you're effectively making your cart shittier every time you take a blinker and honestly it's burning way too fast like you are using way too much wax that's probably why a lot of people go through carts really fast if they take a lot of blinkers but hey who am i to tell you what to do i'm just a little stick man floating on by floating on by through the river of life split split wake up wake up split <sighs> where am i Oh my god! Blinker City! Rip the Pentame! Rip the Pentame! Take a bigger Blinker City! <coughs> oh my god.
If looks could kill, baby, I'm the fashion demon. Run around, count wood, roll down. Oh my goodness gracious, he's back. If for some reason you've been out of the loop a little bit, uh, check the last video. Me and John just got a new Cribbington. It's pretty fire, but yeah, that's what I've been a little preoccupied with. Anyway, today's story takes place a couple weeks ago, all right, in the dead of winter. Me, John, and Carl are wawa bing chilling at my now defunct apartment, and we were just feeling a little like we need a we need a little scenery change, okay? So we're sitting there, we're throwing out ideas. Uh. We could go to the bowling alley. No one goes to bowling alleys, bro. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Like, um, that's lame. <coughs> you good? No, I'm good. This cart is insane. Oh, uh, word. What about we go to the beach? Dog, it's like 26 outside. Yeah, I know it's winter, but like, bro, your point, the beach is fire. All right, yeah, I mean, I can't argue with that. So we embark on our journey, our absolute extravaganza. We end up arriving at the beach at the cusp of dusk, okay, I must say. It is getting darkington outside, and I'ma be honest, bro, when you're on a beach in the dark, you can't see two feet in front of you. But mama didn't raise no bitches, okay? We went on the beach, and we lit up that absolute jointington. I'ma be honest, I felt like I was in Sons of the Forest, bro. This joint was our only source of light. But hey, what do you think our ancestors did, alright? All they had was was wood and fire, alright? And they, they survived. I mean, we are preserving this joint because we know once this is done, it's wraps, alright? John, take it, take it, take I gotta, it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Oh, oh no. We are Blindington, okay? The only light we have is from the city, and I'm gonna be honest, we're pretty far down this beach, so we got a Walkington and a half to get back to the vehicle. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, me and John, we got we got a little silly, alright? We got a little goofy. We started scaring each other. And that eventually evolved into us chasing each other on the beach. Alright, Steve is now attempting the backwards gritty. John, what are your opinions first? The bro's ass. <laughs> oh sh this overall bad idea, alright? When we got back to the car, we actually found out that John dropped his pen on the beach. And bro was very insistent. So you know, like a good friend that I am, we decided to go back and look for the Benjamin, alright? At first we were like, how are we gonna do this in this level of darkness? And then we remembered our phones had flashlights, and everything that happened previously, <laughs> we, we, we felt stupid, okay? Because we forgot we had those. Anyway, we're looking for the Benjamin. And, I mean, time is going by. The clocks are ticking, pal. We are not finding this pen. Bro, where'd you drop it? When we, when we were running back in the sand over there. Buddy, the, the whole... It, it's all sand. Yeah, what but do you I mean? What? Unfortunately, we did not find the pen. And now, I invite you all to join the service for John's dab pen. <coughs> Bring, dun, 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 far, dun, dun, wherever you are. <coughs> But I believe it. All right, that's it. Love you. Bye. Let's go, bro. I'm back. Let's go. It's way too late. Save our souls, baby. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I spent like way too much time trying to make Anyway, that. today we're going to be talking about greening out. Greening out's always fun. Everyone loves greening out. Everyone loves having a terrible time. Am I right? If you don't know what greening out is, it's basically when... You, uh, you take too much of the, of the oregano, and then you start, re your body rejects the oregano because, like, you can only have so many spices in your body at once. You see, when you're at baby level oregano user, like, you green, you tend to green out a lot more than the people that have been using oregano for a really long time. You see, even if you've been using oregano for your entire life, there's still a small chance that you're gonna put a little bit too much in your pasta sauce, okay? And this is exactly what happened to me a couple of weeks ago. If you guys want the actual lore behind this, go check out the average vlog video, okay? I don't know why this flopped so hard. It got demonetized and then age-restricted and then the age-restricted got removed. Whatever, uh, that's the lore for this video, okay? But anyway, me and Steve have had a long, hard day of living life and using a whole lot of oregano, okay? And we decide to go to this kid Mark's crib. Now, Mark is chill. Mark is chill like that. You know, in fact, I dab him up sometimes and get a little bit. Ahaha, ha, didn't know you were chill like that, my guy. But anyway, we walk into Mark's crib and I'm already sloshed, okay? I didn't know what I was getting myself into because I w this was sensory overload. Anyway, me and Steve walk in. We look on the couch. Hey, bruh. 
There's there's three vegetables right there. Straight vegetableized people. I dab everyone up. I'm like, what's good, boys? How's it going? What's up? What's poppin'? See, I did three dap ups. That's At this time, Steve had a cart that I would go as far to say was questionable, okay? Not even five minutes into entering the crib, we all promptly stand up and, <laughs> okay, we enter the bathroom. Pause, bro. I don't know why I'm always smoking in bathrooms, but I guess that's just a spot. Anyway, we go in there and we're passing around this questionable no, ah car, no, goofy no, ah car, and we are all faded already. But we pass this thing around in the little circle, all right, and we are getting more faded. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is when I started spinning. I would like to introduce you all to Bobo. I'm 99% sure that is not his real name, but uh, I'm just gonna say it anyway. Bobo, all right. Bobo starts looking at me like, damn, this kid is tweaking. I mean, I felt like I sat in an office chair and spun around 30 times. Like, my vision was rotating. Anyway, we finish the mini sesh and we go and sit on Mark's couch. I think that's the name I gave him. If it was Marcus, I'm sorry. I don't remember. But basically, for the next 25 minutes, I was trying to stop myself from absolutely vomiting all over the- I was playing Elden Ring with my own body, bro, okay? Like, this was difficult. Not gonna lie, Marcus started lighting up some incense as well, and that just kinda added to the problem. <laughs> and just when I thought I was in the clear, Oh ho ho band practice started, so now we got incense, incandescent lights, by the way there was like a gecko, like <laughs> over to the right, which was fire, it was fire as fuck, oh yeah, and music now, like heavy like wailing electric guitar music, keep in mind the whole time I'm fighting nausea, I'm spinning, okay, I got the shakes, you know when you get the shakes when you smoke too much, you get... You get, a little, you get a little shaky. So I'm feeling like an absolute maraca sitting on this couch. And I'm like, bro, uh, I'm going to be honest, dog. Would it be okay if I stepped out onto your lawn to get some fresh air and possibly regurgitate? And Marcus graciously offered that I could use his bathroom. But like, dude, I knew I was going to puke hard. So I was like, bro, I can't do that to you. I'm going to just go on your lawn. And he's like, all right, bet. And I'm like, word. So I walk up his pitch black basement steps, almost falling and eating shit on the cement stairs. Whatever. I open the door and I am greeted with an absolute tundra, bro. We are on Hoth right now. It is snowing. All right. This is top five, like most unlucky natural experience. I'm just going to play the clip from the vlog. Uh, Here you go. I don't know if y'all can see right now, but I'm out here. I forgot what I gave bro's name, Marcus, or something, I don't even know if you can see me. Shitty camera quality, I'll, I'll just be out here puking on bro's lawn. As you can see, I was in rather rough shape, but anyway, I compose myself, I walk back down to the basement, and you know, I'm bing chilling at this point, I'm, I'm fucking chilling. And I just kinda sat there for the next two hours, because like, I just went through a completely traumatic experience, anyway, End of the night, me and Steve dab up the boys. Ah ha ha, thank you, thank you for letting me puke on my on your on your lawn. Marcus, thank you very much. And thank you, little stinkers, for 30k. Oh my goodness, what? It's fucking <laughs> It's honestly insane how fast we're growing, and I can't thank you guys enough. I would like to direct your attention right now, though, to the fact that I did drop a song last week. All right, it's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music, it's on it's on everything, man. Just go check it out. Link in the description. Uh, let me know what you think, because I put a lot of effort into the music. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Also, my Instagram will also be down there. You guys should follow that. Um, Pretty cool. We hit 1,000 on that, so thank you so much. It's uh, I'm cooler than all of my peers, all right? Love you guys so much. Thank you for showing up. Uh, Wawa. Bean shit. Anytime, 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 anytime for you to get my clothes. <laughs> oh my god. In all my years on this planet, I've played hundreds of different games, but there's never been a game as masterfully crafted as Lego Batman. Growing up as a child, my parents used to often tell me there's two types of people in the world. There's the people that play Lego Batman, and then there's the people that become Lego Batman. What does this have to do with anything? I don't really know, but a couple of streams ago, me and John got faded. Mudman! Actually, it's Clayface. Okay, and we decided to play the best game of all time, so... 
without further ado, here you go. Lego Batman is the best game of all time. Lego Batman, Lego Batman, Lego Batman, Lego Batman, Lego Batman, Lego Batman. Yo! I'm sorry! Fuck, dude. Yo, this man just killed me, bro. Shall we get neutral lighting? Neutral. Neutral lighting, bro. I don't know why I'm talking like that, dude. I'm faded than a The penguin! He's getting away! Holy- The bat cave. What is the bat cave? Wait, John, there's always secrets. Oh! Wait. What? Can what? I do that? I guess I can do it before I get- How the f- Help me, I'm stuck! Now go up. Ha oh, I fell. Brr. Uh, wait. Brr. Oh, I just jump? Oh, word. Oh! Uh. What's in here? What? I built us a grapple point. Bro, what do you mean? I'd just be grappling. W cage open. Oh, mini kit moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now be performing the deck jump. Holy shit. John! Please. Okay, <laughs> holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, I almost fell off. I almost fell off. Wait. How do you engage on jumping on the lateral? What is it? I don't know. It, it, it won't allow me. You just run up to it. Wait. Yeah. Make it. Oh. Oh. Don't push the me jump. Off. The jump. Bruh. 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 You have to jump at the end. No, watch out, watch out. I got you. Watch, 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 watch. Come on, John. Why does it let go at the end? Hell. No, you have to jump. You have to. Wait. Dude, it's so fuck. Dude, f wait, It's wait, so bad, wait, bro. Wait, it's so wait, bad. Wait, wait, I got it. It's literally so bad. I'm, I'm determined, dog. I do not care. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. He got it. Let's go. Get the blue stud. Told you. I'm him. Him. Oh, my oh, goodness. Okay. Get, get, get oh, absolutely messed up. WW Combat Revival. Oh, wait. Look. Look, 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 look. Wait. What's the big idea, pal? Push it from the back. Pause. Yo, yo. The op shooting lead. Hold on. Wait. Observe. God is that? Oh, a big dodge. Ops dumping. Ops are dumping. All right, got the Batman returns our shit. Oh my, there's somebody. Oh, oh, get off me. I'm oh, I'm running shit right now, bro. Look, choke slamming. No way, I'm in the Bentayga right now. Wait, like wait, wait, that. wait, smash the Bentayga through the door. The Tonka. <laughs> that but, did yeah. nothing, bro. Bro, they got the goddamn. Oh, bro. In my solitude. I don't think these guys know who I am. Oh my god! I've got his ass. Uh -huh. Give me all your lunch money, nerd. Uh. Be grabbing them. Oh! 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 I see Did you that. see that? Dude, yeah. I spun his jaw. Big oh. Lego moment. Big f***ing Lego moment. Am I right? Oh, word? <clears throat> oh, dude. Jonathan Harbuckle. Operate green tech panels. Approach the panel and press B. Oh, I grabbed it. Oh! You gotta navigate, bro. Over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> pause. No, not pause. In, in the, in the hole. Move. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, my nicotine fell on my balls, dude. This is some... <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Help. Help. Fuck, <laughs> dude. I got fucking obliterated. Or we're going to push him on a chair. <laughs> what? <laughs> Because oh my goodness over here! Oh uh, wait, I have to place my bombs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna get demolished before I get the chance. Oh, I got his ass, bro. Now he's down to three measly hearts. <clears throat> There's another one over here. Oh, he hopped out the back. I saw him. Wait, he went out the back. He went down the alley. Uh, get on that. Get on that. We run in that get shit. Oh, I already have it. Oh, okay, it's different. It was different. All right, we're. Oh, let's go. L keybind. Oh, I fucking dropped another one. Wait, what the? F oh, we're high, bro. I think we gotta kill them all. Oh, dude, he's on the front at the right. Oh yeah. We're fucking thought. faded. Oh, get big, exploded, idiot, nerd. 
Get fucked up. Oh! Get fucked Dude, up. Dude, his ass got scenting 10. How do we hit this man? I don't know. I think these are shiny. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta do one of these. Hold on. Nay, nay. I'll get absolutely ass blasted. Facts. Oh, we're cracked. <clears throat> we are cracked, y'all. Dubs in the chat, real quick. Get some dubs in the chat. Level complete. Free play. <laughs> you want to give the synopsis on this one? A scientific no. <laughs> a, a synopsis? Yeah. A scientific can... specializing in cryogenics. Doctor Victor Fries posed his wife to prevent her death from a rare disease, but he was injured in his lab and found himself unable to survive outside a sub-zero environment. As Mr. Freeze, consumed by anger, he uses frozen weaponry in a battle against the city of Gotham and wears a refrigerated suit, which gives him remarkable strength. Alright, word. Okay, mm -mm. W animation, oh word. Can I get one more synopsis? Press A key. A double synopsis. A scientist specializing in cryogenics. Doctor Dude, he's gonna be Help! Help! Okay, we're good. Uh, no, you've abandoned your post. <laughs> Pete his ass. <laughs> wait, wait, can you get up here? Oh wait, I see a bar. Hold on. Does that mean I can You found two studs? Can you jump to that bar? See that bar? No, I can't. Uh, <gasps> no! How'd you do that? Double, double jump. Ooh. Did like the roll. Oh. This is blasphemy. Okay. Ooh. Thank you, Split, for not failing to make me laugh in every video. Love you, man. Thank you so much for the five bills, Stone Frog. I appreciate you. Damn, I'd just be gliding for it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh -huh. That's slippery. Get Legoed with one hand. <laughs> My goodness. <clears throat> a little jump across. Oh, no! Oh, ops are running. Ops are running up on us. I have two hearts. Oh, I'm about to come at him from the top. Top rope. Get nay nay Oh, dude! I spit, but I sent him the f***ing Brazil, bro. <laughs> <coughs> oh, rip. Are you what serious the right No! We're spawned all the way back there, I'm dead. Oh! Oh! That was kind of clean. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm probably gonna step on it. Hold on, wait, let me step. Whoa! My goodness, I'm surprised Batman didn't get motion sick. Big puzzle solving moment. Oh, f the bulls of Christ. Help! What? Okay. Okay, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. I'm trying to get. Oh, I can't get those. Oh my god, John's in a scuffle. Big scuffle moment. Wait, you scientific experiment. How do I shoot? What? L ice? Am I right? Oh, oh! Bro froze me. Ha uh ha! -huh. I'm freezing the ops. It's the goddamn menace. You just ate shit, dude. You yeah. saw that? Mr. Freeze boss battle. It's Mr. Freeze fries! Oh my god! We gotta beat his ass. Send him to the gulag, John. Like My fur would have done. I'm whooping his ass, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Wait. Oh, his ass is gonna be ruined, dude. I just absolutely Lego bubbled his ass. Yeah. <clears throat> Mister Freeze, please. Oh my god, top five anime fights of all time. John, it's okay. I'm here. Gah. I'm him. I'm him. Gah. Gah. He has so much health. John, help! No, we're good. Dude, I sent his ass. Bah. All right, I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. <laughs> two on me, two on me. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Big ice cube. Pree. Oh, dropped it on his head. How's your cranium feeling, pal? Arr. We got you cornered, pal. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. oh yeah, dude. Average aneurysm. Can I get a f*** Mr. Freeze? On god. That's crazy. 
Okay, that's it. Love you. Bye. Also, if you want part two, uh, make sure you like this video. Let's try to hit 500 likes. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. The end. Uh.